Okay guys, um, this is the sales rep who is I'm going to be following. And I just thought I'd go ahead and video our way because he's taking me to the actual home site as to where the home would be. So again, it's hard, right? Because this isn't a brand new area. So you're not really getting the true concept of how it's gonna be. So it is a mix, here's Bella Vista. So there will be a mix of KB and Bella Vista. That's always good because it does, you know, kind of like mix up the community a little bit to where not all the homes are looking at all the same. Not a lot of topography over here, so that part is good. And it looks like you might back up to a green space. No, I bet it's on the right. I bet it's over here. Hmm, or maybe here. Let's see what he, oh, or not, or neither. <laughs> it has to be to the right. The good news about catching a development at this stage is simply for the fact that you're gonna be moving in around the same time as all the neighbors. So that part is good. Up. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. That's Adrian, say hi. You're on video. Hello. How are you? They're not. Adrian from KB. They're not on it, but I'm gonna send it to them. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Is this the actual house? This is a yeah, 315 settled on. Very so, cool. 1,165 square foot home. We do a 40 foot wide home here, so okay. most homes are only like 29, 30 foot that other builders build. So we have a nice wider home. It's gonna get way bigger. So this is a you said forty foot product, mm -hmm, yeah. and those are thirty. Right. Okay. Nice. It's a huge difference. It is. It didn't sound like a lot for ten people when you're in it. It's huge. Oh yeah. You walk and then we in have and you good elbow it. space between our homes because we do a fifty five foot wide lot. Most builders only do a forty. Yep. So, yep. Yeah. So then you have about now a tad bit more elbow space. So seven mm -hmm. on seven on each side then. Right. About. Okay. Yeah, and then plus your neighbor has the same, so we're gonna get around fifteen feet or more between homes. Perfect. Yeah. Also, what's nice is to the left of you, we'll have a one-story home. I okay. sold it to a lady um, that will be living with just her and her son. And her son's already like 12, goes to private school. And uh, so they'll also have a one-story next to them, which is nice. They won't be overshadowing. That's right. Yeah. Do you know what this one's going to be here? That one I would have to look up to be certain. I'm not too sure. I'm wondering. This is a KB though, right? Yes, that'll be a KB home as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? The slab looks like a... It's pretty long, so it might be a it one might story. It might be a well. one story. But I can definitely double check where you can get back to you on that. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm going to do the little walkthrough mm -hmm. of the actual home itself. And so I appreciate you bringing us out here. Mm -hmm. Let's see real quick. What else can we point out? The box, the electrical box is it's going to be on that side. It's right there, right? Uh, yeah, they'll be small. Um, so the, the big, big boxes big are going to be on this side. On this side yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, so in every community, you're gonna have the electrical underground now. And so whether or not you have the side of the big boxes or smaller for your utilities, right? And so this specific home will have the smaller boxes for your like cable and stuff like that. Yeah, our community does have a pool, a park, with ha which has like a playground um, set with a big canopy over it. It also has a clubhouse you can rent out, a walking trail, and a fishing pond. Nice. Is it already built? Yes, it's already built and up. So we'd have to, for now, because we're still under construction, you'd have to go back out to 1103, come back to the next Cider Creek Ranch entrance, and just follow it along the side, and you'll pop up right here in the amenity center. I knew I wasn't coming in the nice side. Yeah. Okay, so there is a nice actual entrance. Yeah, there's uh, there's three entrances, or the third. So how many? We just don't have, like, the big... Sure. Yeah, it's not as fancy as the other entrances, right? Got it. Okay, so yeah. then from here, let's say they want to go right to the pool. Yeah. About how far is it? Like a mile? What uh, would you say? Well, you could see that greenhouse and that car is parked in front of it. Yeah. If you just walk through this grass to that car, the, literally there's a curb that walks you right up to the pool. And it's like over there? Yeah, it's right on the other side of these trees. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you just have to go around it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or you drive around, you know, so right. that's you, right. What is yeah. the HOA fee here? Just 460 once a year. Nice. Yeah. Um, what about tax rate over here? Uh, we're right at 2.2%. That's not bad. Yeah. Um, and price of this home is at the high, right under four, correct? Yeah, but just right under four, like 395, 396. Okay. Um, any incentive for going with your in-house? Um, so that price already has our $3,000 discount on there up front. We give that to your front. If you use our in-house lender, I believe we give you, we cover the title policy. Okay. Um, and we also have a rate lock extension. So rates are going up. Um, right. 
very fast. Right. Uh, is it bothering up, you that I'm videoing you, no, by the way? Okay. No, it's, been up, it, it's gone up over 2.25% in just the yeah. matter of four months. So uh, it's going up pretty quick. So we do a rate lock extension uh, and we pay for it ourselves. So once the buyer contracts on this home, then uh, pretty much right after we get them approved, we rate lock. And so they're locked in. They're literally getting another payment, the rate, everything, even though it takes us another four, five, six months. To wow. Pay so for this home, it is available to contract today. Today. What's yeah. the earnest money? It's just 4,000. Okay. We collect 4,000, we do it electronically. So once you sign your contract on DocuSign, right. a little window pops up to put in your debit card information. It'll pull out the 4,000 and you get that 4,000 back at closing. So right. we can apply it towards however they really want it to go, towards closing, towards towards price reduction, right. you know, yeah, how they wanted it. What about um, if they decide to go with their out, how, excuse me, outside lender, mm -hmm. they still get that price, Yes. but they just won't get the rate lock right. and they won't get the, the title. title. policy, yeah. Okay, gotcha. That's correct. Okay, yeah. his um, cousin okay. is the LO. Oh yeah, that, sure. And so we don't get paid on finance, Bob and I. So you know, we you can go any finance right. you want. We don't care. Yeah, <laughs> no, I get it. We want to give you all the info so you can make your decision. I am um, directionally challenged. Okay. Okay. So when I face forward, that yeah. is north. Yeah. To me, okay. His house faces north. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was yeah, gonna ask you. North. Okay. Okay, so that's cool. West, so then. West. So then it's east to west. Perfect, over here. Yeah. So then, same thing, guys, when you're outside, um, the sun will be just going, you know, over your home. And so you won't have any direct sun um, when it comes to the backyard. So that part's good. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, well, I'll let you do your walkthrough. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, if you need anything else, let me know. I'll be in the model home. Perfect. Okay. Um, Bob gave me your information. Great, So yeah. there's three different potentials today. Okay. Okay. If they do have more questions, I'll call you. Yeah, absolutely. And Just let me know. I will, you know what? Um, okay, guys, I'm going to take another video.